7 a.m. Time to get into the car and press the fob and nothing. Dead. Nothing is happening. Oh dear. Okay, so we have to stick the key in that slot and remove the plastic. Okay, so get the key out by pressing the little button on the fob. That should bring the key out. Easier with two hands. And ignoring the dirty paintwork, this is where we will stick the key into and then remove the plastic. Okay, so what we have to do is pull the handle, stick the key in, and this is the bit that took me a couple of attempts to get right. Once you put it in, just lift it up and as you see it just pop right off it's really really pretty straightforward to do then all we have to do is insert the key turn it to the right and quickly go into panic since it's early in the morning and the neighbours are going to be kicking up hell so let's see how we can get this turned off Make sure you press the 12 volt battery reset button and that brings everything back to normal. Right, so now that the car's operational again, all we've got to do is just reverse what we went and did at the start. So just a case of popping this back on again, clip it in place and um, that's us back to drive the car. Um, once we can flip it back on correctly. Um, it's a bit awkward because we've got to pull the handle out and while the handle's out, slip that in because there's a little ridge on the side and um, it's that that the handle sort of locks down on and I'm just trying to very very quickly put this back on and it, it just doesn't want to go on um, It's too early in the morning for this kind of stuff, you know what? Stuff it, it can stay off, I'm just going to go and make a coffee and to hell with it Classic Monday morning <laughs> 